Welcome to this overview of biogas plant operation using J&F's CSTR-based semi-dry fermentation process, also known as the high-load reactor. Biogas is a renewable energy source generated from organic materials, such as agricultural waste. In this video, we'll walk you through the key steps involved in operating a biogas plant, which leads to the production of biogas. The first step is harvesting the feedstock, which often comes from agricultural fields, such as crop residues or grass. The feedstock must be carefully collected to ensure it is free from non-organic materials. Next, the feedstock is chopped into smaller particles, which is important for efficient processing in the biogas digester. The feedstock is then transported from the agricultural fields to the storage yard, where it remains until needed for further processing. Proper storage is essential for preserving its effectiveness in biogas production. When stored correctly, the feedstock can retain its value for several months without deterioration. This ensures that the material remains intact and ready for use, minimizing waste and supporting continuous biogas production. The next step is compaction. The feedstock is compacted to reduce its volume, making it easier to process. Reducing the feedstock volume also optimizes storage and transportation. The compacted feedstock is then loaded into the feeding container, which regulates the flow of feedstock into the biogas digester. This ensures that the microorganisms inside receive a steady supply of organic material. Proper feeding is essential for maintaining the right balance of nutrients in the digester, which is crucial for optimal biogas production. A steady, controlled flow supports efficient digestion, enhancing the overall effectiveness of the biogas production process. For further digestion of agricultural residues or energy crops using J&F's CSTR-based semi-dry fermentation process, also known as the high-load reactor, is employed. This advanced technology allows for higher organic loading rates, increasing the capacity and efficiency of the digester. The high-load reactor also supports more consistent and stable biogas production by adding the right micronutrients. The key advantage of this system is its ability to handle high organic material concentrations while maintaining optimal digestion conditions, leading to optimal biogas production. In addition, J&F's paddle mixers play a crucial role in ensuring the efficient mixing of the feedstock within the digester. These mixers promote uniform distribution of heat, nutrients and microorganisms enhance the digestion process. By improving the uniformity of the feedstock, the paddle mixers helps reduce the formation of gas pockets and increase overall biogas production efficiency. The combination of the J and F's high load reactor technology and the paddle mixers optimizes the digester's performance, providing a stable and efficient biogas production system. Let's recap the biogas production process. First, the feedstock is harvested. Then, it is loaded into a storage yard. After that, the feedstock is compacted to remove air. Finally, the feedstock is fed into the biogas digester using a feeding container, facilitated by J&F's CSTR-based semi-dry fermentation process, also known as the high-load reactor. Thank you for watching this overview of biogas plant operation.